Welcome back. Again, Billy. You can't never, never, never be the good news is Billy. we've made it out of Billy. the sanitarium before the generator there? blew up. If I put an X there, the bad news is we don't know where we are. Or how we got here. Oh, well, I guess not. this angel statue brought us here. It looks like the statue from the tower. But um, how or why it did that, I don't know. Don't go there, Billy. I'll win in two moves. Also, we don't know if anybody no, else from the sanitarium Boy, made it out. Stupid. Or if the generator actually did blow up. I win again, so, you can't never, sucks never, to be them, I guess. Billy is a loser. Anyway, it looks like we're in some kind of town square. And there's a bunch of kids around, so maybe they can tell us where we are. I can't. I'm not if allowed to look at them. There, then she puts an O on top, and then. But if I. Hey, you big dope! Get out of our life! Come on, Billy. Let's play. You're not supposed. To. Okay. 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 I mean, I'm not an expert, but I don't think that's what kids are supposed to look like. Right, a bratty kid with two mouths. <laughs> okay. They seem to be misshapen for some reason. I win again, Billy. You can't. I guess never, the only thing we can do Billy is try to talk to them. Billy is a loser. Wanna play again? Hey, um, kid. Uh, what's your name? My name's Billy. What's yours? I win again, Billy. I, you can't never, I can't never, remember never my name. Me. Well, Billy Mother won't let loser. me talk to strangers, so you better loser. leave. Want to play again? This sounds like the kind of situation where, you know, you introduce yourself and then we're not strangers anymore, so now we can talk. However... Um, we don't know our name, apparently. And asking about it seems to have triggered a flashback, so that's kind of strange. You can't really tell that the kids are misshapen just from looking at their characters on screen so much. The dialogue pictures make it pretty obvious, though. Where's your mother? I'd really like to speak to her. Mother only talks to us kids. Not a big poop head like you. Um, okay, that's rude. I guess he won't talk to us unless we know our name. Maybe she will be more forthcoming. Her hands and I face are again, deformed. Billy. You can't never know. Who are you, young lady? My name's Jesse Hatcher. What's yours? I, uh, I can't remember my name. Well, Mother won't let me talk to strangers, so you'd better leave. Triggered another flashback, though. Actually, I think it was the same flashback, just longer. Where's your mother? I'd really like to speak to her. Mother is everywhere. Well, that's not ominous at all. Okay, this isn't really getting us anywhere. Again, Billy. You can't but maybe never, if we keep getting flashbacks, we'll me. learn our name Billy at some point. There's a lemonade stand over here. Ugh, moldy lemonade. Unfit to drink. Okay, I guess we can't even try. I win again, Billy. You can't never, never, never be Some kind of hut over here. Billy this place loser. must hold Billy some clues. Wanna play again? I guess it must. We'll check inside there, but um, I want to talk to this kid over here. It'd be nice if we could find out where we are, and if somebody wants to talk to us, that would be a big help. This girl has two wooden legs. That, and she's still playing jump rope? That's honestly kind of impressive. Who are you? Megan Jones, but you can call me Pegleg. That's what all the kids call me. That's mean. 
I would never call you that. Thanks, mister. You're nice. What's your name? Max? Sarah would like to see you now. My name is Max. That's a nice name. Hey, now you aren't a stranger. Okay, I guess our name is Max. I guess that means the kid in the flashback was us. Quite a while ago, I would assume. But now that we know our name, at least this kid is willing to talk to us, so hopefully we can figure something out here. Where are we? What town is this? This is home, silly. Okay, not helpful. I realize this is your home, Meg, but where am I? I mean, doesn't this town have a name? Oh, didn't you see the sign? Um, no. I'm assuming we would have passed it if we came here normally, but... I think, um, Angel Statue teleportation was not something people counted on when they built this town. I haven't seen any adults in this town. Where are your parents? Where are, where are all of the adults? Sorry, Max, but Mother won't let us talk about that. Why is that? Mother says that all adults except her are bad, and we shouldn't talk to them. Okay. Kind of feels like that one Star Trek episode where the planet only has kids on it because all the adults die of some disease. Wonder if it's something like that, although there seems to be at least one adult, which is this mother character. Who I'm assuming is not their anyone's actual mother, unless they all have the same mother. That seems a bit unlikely though. Big family. I suppose it's not impossible. Adults are bad? I don't understand. Why does your mother distrust all other adults so much? She says that pride leads to their destruction, or something like that. What does that mean? I... oh, I probably said too much already. Alright. You really like to skip rope, huh, Meg? I'm sorry, but doesn't that hurt with your false legs? What? Oh, my legs? <laughs> it's okay. That don't hurt much. Besides, Mother says that once I'm finished growing, I'll forget all about my legs. Okay. Definitely nothing ominous here. Well, now that we know our name, maybe these other two kids are also willing to talk to us, so let's try that. There's actually... forgot to point it out earlier. There's actually another weird thing you can do in this game, which is... Useless exactly... I mean, it's useful exactly never. Which is that if you press the F keys... <gasps> hmm. You can make, uh... Uh-oh. Make Max say various different things to react to things, I guess. Yes! Nope. <laughs> Damn! Interesting. Ouch! And that's all of them. Just F1 through F9. It serves no purpose. It's not documented either, as far as I can tell. But it does work. Anyway. Let's go talk to these kids over here now. Well, maybe they'll be more forthcoming. You're... Billy, right? Uh-huh. I told you that a zillion times already. Jeez. Have you figured out your name yet, Mr. No Name? No, these kids are pretty rude. But we do know our name, so... My name is Max. Oh! That's a good name! Better than Mr. No Name. I used to have a goldfish named Max, but my cat ate it. He pooped orange for two days. That's disgusting. Do your parents know you tell stories like that? <laughs> yeah, but they don't say anything. Orange poop. <laughs> <laughs> 
orange poop. Okay. Where are your parents? I'm not supposed to tell, says Mother. You can tell me. I'm your friend, right? No. Fair enough. Billy, that angel statue over there, does it... I mean, have you ever seen it move very often? Stupid Mr. Orange Poop. You must have boogers for brains. Statues don't move. Well, this one did. It was... Well, didn't you see it? It carried me here from far away. I, I mean, it just wrapped its wings around me and... Stop it, mister. You're giving me the creeps. Okay, we're giving them the creeps. That seems weird. But I guess nobody saw us arrive here. Although they don't seem surprised that we just appeared in the middle of town either, so... Who knows what's going on? What game are you playing? Tic-tac-toe. Jessie's the best there is. Except when she cheats. She's the best, huh? Maybe I could play, too. Got any tips for me? Yeah, stupid head. Don't lose. Good tip. I don't have much patience for games, but I've got less patience for smart mouth kids like you. I don't mean to be rude, but what happened to your face? Me? Nothing. Mother says I'm handysome. What's wrong with your face, mister? Is Mother making you handy some too? Uh, no, Billy. I was hurt in an accident. These bandages helped me get better. Okay, so... Their deformities are something this Mother is doing to them? That doesn't sound good. Let's talk to the girl. Your name is... Jessie, right? Mm-hmm. The Tic-Tac-Toe Champion. What's your name? My name is Max. Oh, that's a dumb name. That's a rude thing to say. What would your parents say if they heard you talk like that? <laughs> They're not here. And you're not my dad. I don't have to listen to you. Some of these kids are just really, really rude. Where are your parents? They're all in. Jesse, shut up! He's a grown-up. You know Mother's rule. I wonder where the parents are. That nobody wants to tell us. What's Mother's rule? We... We aren't supposed to talk about our folks. If we do, we'll be put in... In... The patch. The patch? Assuming you're not talking about a software patch. Tell me about the pumpkin patch, Jesse. What's so special about it? No one goes in there. Unless they were bad, like Maria. It's a bad, bad place. A pumpkin patch? Wait. Didn't the one kid in the sanitarium say that if he was bad, he'd be sent into the pumpkin patch? And there were pumpkins on the... Stained glass windows, too. Curiouser and curiouser. What game are you playing? Tic-tac-toe. Wanna play? I'm the best there is. Uh, the best at tic-tac-toe? That doesn't really mean that much. I mean, if you go first, you can't lose, so... Can you tell me how to play? Well, you put an X, and I put down an O. In the box is here. The idea is to get three across, or up and down, or diagonal. If you do that, you win. Okay. Looks like we can uh, play, so it just sounds like ordinary tic-tac-toe. I want to ask about her face first, though. I don't mean to be rude, but what happened to your face? Huh? Oh, that. Mother did this. Aren't I pretty? I hope to be as pretty as Mother when I grow up. Don't you think I'm pretty? Sure. Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> You're very, very pretty, Jesse. My God, what's going on here? Okay, that makes me kind of uh, worried about what the bomb is going to look like. If she thinks this is pretty. Anyway, we can challenge her to a rousing game of tic-tac-toe. Let's play a game. Then we'll see if you're as good as you say. 
<laughs> you probably think you're smart, but you're just a big, stupid boy. A simple kid's game shouldn't be too hard. Nope, it should not, especially because it is just ordinary tic-tac-toe and they're letting us go first. So, as I already said, there's no way to lose. At worst, it would be a tie. Because this is, um, as it's called, a solved game, which means there's an optimal strategy, and if you follow it, you can't lose. You probably know it if you've ever played tic-tac-toe. If you don't, it's very easy to look up. Anyway, let's start by putting a mark in the corner. And basically, as long as they don't put uh, a mark in the center, we can always win. If they do put it in the center, then you, they either have to make a mistake or otherwise it's going to be a tie. Okay, so she put it over there, which I think means I need to put it here now. And she's forced to go there. And then I can put my mark here, which means I can win either vertically or diagonally, so they can't stop me. I guess you're not as good as you thought, Jesse. Hm. I let you win, because you're new in town. You're pretty smart, though, for a boy. I've only been beaten a couple of times before, but that's because there were all girls. Girls are a lot smarter than boys. Nuh-uh. Girls is stupider. Shut up, Billy, you little retard. Billy is not helping the case here. Which girls have beaten you? Meg and Eileen. They're her bestest friends. Okay. Wait, isn't this Meg? I don't think we've seen Eileen yet. I think you can talk to him about the tic-tac-toe. Jesse's pretty good at that game. But I just beat her. No, duh, Boogerface. I was sitting right here watching. Next time, maybe you should watch your mouths instead. Okay. Yeah, so it's not very hard to beat her. I mean, even if you don't know the strategy, then it's still pretty easy. I kind of like how they did this in uh, Telltale's Sam and Max games, where you had to lose a game of tic-tac-toe against an opponent who was also trying to lose. Which is much harder, because you can't just look up the strategy to do that. But in this case, it's just straightforward, we just have to win. If she won from uh, one against Jesse, then maybe we can ask her about that. You're Meg, right? Yeah, but you can call me Pigleg if you like. I don't mind. Hey, Meg. I beat Jesse at tic tac toe. She said that you beat her once, too. Ha! Huh, I beat her more than once. I beat her four times. Four times? You must be pretty good. Thanks. Okay. I guess Jessie's not as good as she's claiming to be. No idea why any of this is important. Anyway, I guess we should explore this town a little bit more. Um, let's go down here first. There's the shack. The fish house, I guess. I don't know. This place must hold some clues. Which, I guess, must hold some clues. And... okay. Damn, useless crap. And I was so sure that I would find some clues in here. Yeah, it actually just doesn't contain anything. As far as I know, this serves no purpose. It's just uh, a red herring, I guess. Wait, is it a literal red herring? I see what they did there. Um, let's see, looks like the road ends here. Looks like I can't go that way. And it looks like somebody discovered that kind of late. There's a path going down, so we should be able to get a better look at that. 
<laughs> Somebody needs a driving lesson. I smell gasoline. Wait, if this is a beach, then where was this road going? Well, I guess we don't know if this is the sea. It could be a river. In which case, there was probably a bridge at some point. But it's definitely out. Um, looks like we can open the gas not from cap. Here. But not from there. Nope. It wants you to walk over. From the fumes, I'd guess that the tank is full. Well, I guess that's good to know if we need gas. Right now, it doesn't look like we have a way of getting it, though. This does not sound like we're walking on sand. This boy looks almost normal. Hi there. Uh, what's your name, kid? My name is Timothy. Timothy O'Toole. But you can call me Timmy. All the other kids call me Timmy. What's your name, mister? It's Max, as we now know. Uh, my name is Max. That's a good name. Now you're not a stranger. I haven't seen any adults in this town. Where are your parents? Where are all of the adults? Mother said that God made them all go away, because we're his special children. Special children? What does your mother mean by that? Mother said that God wanted her to protect his special children, so he sent her to save us. Okay. We'll add that to the not ominous pile. Save you from what? From the disease, of course. Disease? Mm-hmm. The disease of meat. So maybe it is like that Star Trek episode. A little disease of meat? It's kind of weird. Meat? Is she a vegetarian? What's a vegetarian? It's someone who eats plants, not animals. Well, I think that's what she is. Okay. Just a really obsessed vegetarian, I guess. Why would she have to get rid of the adults to save the, the kids from eating meat? Something is not adding up here. How are the fish biting today? Not so good, but I could sit here all day, so I don't care. You mean you never go into town? Well, only to go to church, but I haven't heard the call to mass in a long time. The call to mass? What's that? Father would ring the bell, but since all the adults went away, no one's been able to ring it. Really? How come? Dennis cut the rope so no one can reach it. Okay, I know how this works. We've I've played adventure games before. Probably need to get him to leave so we can get his fishing pole or something. Nothing else here, I don't think. Nope, that's a dead end. So let's go... Let's just follow the street up, I guess. Janet Elementary School. I guess Janet is the name of the town, maybe? Schoolhouse. That is not what that says. Schoolhouse. Why are these doors boarded up? Don't know. Doesn't look like we can go in there. American flag, so I guess we're at least in the US. Schoolhouse. Can't look at the flag, it just looks at the house. Wait a second, the clock is... That's not how clocks work. The hands on the clock, they're they are moving backwards. Alright, could just be some weird mechanical issue. Doesn't necessarily mean something strange is going on. Also, is it me or is the small hand moving faster than the large hand? It's kind of hard to tell, but that is sort of what it looks like to me anyway. Like the hour and minute hands are reversed. Um, looks like there's a church. And today's sermon is Psalm 451, the gates of heaven. Today's sermon, Psalm 4, verse 51, the gates of heaven. I don't actually know what that psalm is. Don't know if that would be important. The church. That's the bell that uh, Timmy was talking about. A bell? I'll bet it hasn't called anyone to church in a long time. Well, I guess if, um... 
the rope has been cut, then that is probably the case. We can go into the church, though. Seeing things. Well, I. Unless he's married to a skeleton, I don't think that was a flashback, though. Kind of weird. An old church organ. Yep, nothing we can do with it, though. The stained glass windows make me feel like kneeling. But I would suggest you don't. The stained glass windows make me feel like kneeling. I think they all give the same description. This town is really overgrown, see, like, even in here. There are some files here. Aha! Let's see if we can read those. And this is a piece about the local preacher, a Reverend O'Toole. The Reverend claimed that the comet was the eye of God, a sign of heavenly anger towards the townspeople. A comet? I guess there was a comet? Local man questioned in wife's death. Says that Marilyn Driscoll was found in her bathtub, both wrists cut. The police questioned the husband Jedda as a matter of standard procedure. Okay, that doesn't sound good. Looks like she might have committed suicide. Which, you know, the husband may have made it look like that if he was involved, or maybe it, she committed suicide because of him. Or maybe he wasn't involved at all, we don't really know at this point. That's all there is in here. Let's just keep going around the outside. Some kind of fountain here. It doesn't look like it's working. Rubber hose. There's a hose attached to it. It looks Too like I can far away. I can get that if I get close enough first. This hose should come off. <sighs> Can't get it with my bare hands. Okay. I guess we need some kind of tool, which I don't have right now. So. What's this? Looks like the town hall. It's not in very good condition, but then again, neither is anything else here. You can actually go back here. And there's some trees. And that's it. It's not very useful. Let's go in the town hall. There are some files here. Aha! More files. An article about a new star in the sky. Many people saw the star, but an astronomer claims that the star is actually a comet. I guess that's the comet that the preacher was talking about in the other file. Article about the annual town pumpkin fair. Supposed to be the biggest yet. Let me know when it starts. He sounds excited. Interesting news. Seems that a comet altered its path and headed for Earth. The eye of God lights up the night sky. Okay, that's not good. Comets don't usually change course. I doubt the circus will be coming to this town anytime soon. I guess not. Maybe the freak show. Doesn't look like there's anything else in here. At least we're learning some things. Don't really tell us yet what happened here. These kids seem happy anyway. I guess so. Doesn't look like we can talk to these two. They're too busy swinging. Nor can we really tell if they are deformed or not. Welcome to Janet. 
I don't know if you actually pronounce it that way. I think so. Population 250. I guess that's this town. Also, don't think there's 250 people here anymore. Big house over here, also overgrown. This whole town has a serious weed problem. So it would seem, yes. Um, I guess we have to cross the bridge. Something in the water here. A metallic cross. I'll need something to fish it out with. I just bet that's what we need the fishing rod for. The way appears to be blocked by vines. Yeah, it's, that's fairly overgrown. I don't think we're going that way without an axe or something. There is some kind of house or shack here. But I guess we'll investigate that in the next video.